good YouTube. It's Lost Gaming and I'm back with another video. <clears throat> and today I'm back with another Eagles video. And we can't just we just can't seem to win. Alright. We can't seem to win. I'ma just get straight to the point. We just can't win with like I don't know. Like last week is our offense was the problem. Our offense fixed their problems. Now it's the defense. Like I don't get it. So it's Tuesday. And I finally calmed down from the Miami loss. So, let's just get to the stats. Carson Wentz, 28 for 46. 310 yards, three touchdowns. He did have one interception on the last Hail Mary pass. Which really doesn't count as an interception, but oh well. Interception is interception. And Alshon had a good game. He had... Nine catches, 137 yards, and a touchdown. Great game by Alshon Jeffrey. Good to have him back. Um, that we, we play good on offense, and then we do bad on defense. Here's the bottom line. After 13 or 14 weeks, we fix our defense. We fix our offense. And then our defense is the problem again. Why can't our defense and offense just can't have an overall good game on both sides of the ball? Like, come on now. Why? So, what I've been thinking is, I think, Coach, I think, like, we have gave Mike Grove. We, had, we let him have it all. We've blamed Jim Schwartz for some games. But when is Doug Peterson going to get the blame? And that's what I've been thinking the last couple of weeks. Doug Peterson, he is just sitting here saying, oh, we just got to make adjustments. We got to execute the game plan. He says that every week. But yet, we're on a three-game losing streak. So, I don't think Doug Peterson is going to get fired. But he definitely got to be a little bit better. Now, I was watching first take today. And Stephen A. said that the Eagles asked Carson Wentz to do more than they asked Nick Foles to do. Is that true? I think it is. But Carson Wentz, okay. You know how Carmel Anthony wasn't accepting being on a bench. But now he's accepting playing any role so he can just be in the NBA. And he showed that he wanted to accept the bench role, and now he's on a team. Carson Wentz, I don't think that he wants to accept the game being simplified for him. Because he wants to, he's a quarterback who wants to does it all. So, Carson Wentz, just at least for the rest of the season, just accept, just let, try to, and if, I don't know, maybe the Eagles never ask Carson Wentz, can they simplify it for him? But if they ask you, or if they already did ask you, if they ask you already, you, you need to go say, you know what, coach, I'll do it. For the sake of the team, I'll do it, coach. If they didn't ask him already, they need they need to just, they have to. Because when, they, when the game plan is simplified, we win games, we win playoff games, and we win the Super Bowl. But when it's Carson Wentz, we go five and six, five and seven, and then he wound up getting hurt. Nick Foles does what he does. This year is no Nick Foles. Carson Wentz hopefully does is not gonna get hurt this year. So like, listen, we have to do something now. The rest of the rest of the season, do I want to make the playoffs? Yes, for one reason, because I need Carson Wentz to have playoff experience. In order for him to be our franchise quarterback, he has to have playoff experience. Because if we're thinking about winning the Super Bowl and Carson Wentz being our quarterback for the next 10 to 15 years, then we have to get him some playoff experience. First play 16, he has to play a full season first. And then next, I want him to get playoff experience. So hopefully this is the year he get to finish all 16 games. And then next year, he 
And then, well, if we win out, we'll make the playoffs. But if not, next year he'll get some playoff experience. So that's what I think. Now our defense. It's like one week you play good, two weeks you play good. Up, uh, now nah, our offense get it together. All right, we can play bad again. Like I think that I just think that's how it is. And the bad part about it is we're playing worse and we're getting healthier. Like, we just resigned, well, not resigned, we just got Cravion LeBlanc off of IR. We're supposed to be getting healthier, and yet we play better. Another thing I have with Jim Schwartz why is Jalen Mills on a tight end the whole game? Why are you not doubling Devontae Parker? These are questions that I need to get answered. My girl, um,. You can, I'll give you a week off from getting heat this week, but you still deserve to get fired, I think. Um, bottom line, I don't care if we make the playoffs or not. You deserve to get fired. But this week, our focus is on Doug Peterson and Mike Rowe. Why can't, not Mike Rowe, I'm sorry, Jim Sports. Why can't we get a win? Why can't our defense play consistent the whole year instead of just playing good one week, good and that week, bad this week, like, no. Like, I don't, like, it's, 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 it's crazy, and I don't know what to say, but I'm, um, I'm going to, today's Tuesday. The video will either be out today or Wednesday, and I will be posting another video. I'm, um, I'm going to start a film Friday and go back to the game from the week before, and I might look up film for the team that we're pulling up against. So next week is the New York Giants. I might do that, but I'm definitely going to look over the Miami film. And we're just going to look over the highlights, look over who we did right, look over who we did wrong. Um, and another thing before I end this video, stay consistent with the run, Doug Peterson. You have to. It's important. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, um, notifications, all of that. And I'm out.